I've been a language teacher since the year 1987, first working on the island of Crete, and then I become a specialist in the use of educational technology in language teaching from the year 2000. I'm going to highlight today two of my favourite AI technologies that I really think are having a huge impact on teaching and learning, and these tools I've chosen for three key reasons. Firstly, they work in multiple languages. Secondly, these tools are both relevant to students and teachers. So you'll see that I'm actually using these tools to study my current language that I'm studying, which is Polish. The third reason is that both of these technologies offer a really good free offer. So you can actually test them out and use them for free. I really hope you liked the video. And as always, if you do, please like it please share it, please comment on it, but most of all, join me on my YouTube channel, and if you can, give me a few hype points. Let's get started. I really like this technology, and it's very interesting that you can use this for free. You get quite a generous amount for free. What does it do? Well, it generates reading and listening material around any topic that you ask, and at any level, and in multiple languages. And not only does it do that, it produces lists of vocabulary. It generates also a quiz, very so checks comprehension, all at the click of a button. Let me give you a quick taster of one example, and I'll put a link in the description below if you want to try this technology out for free. So look at this example here. I got it to generate a text for me about green tea, and I asked it to do it at quite a high level, so it's like a B1 level in English. And I also asked it to give me some key vocabulary words with the explanations of the words. And then I asked it to generate a quiz for me as well. Now I can actually play that quiz very easily, or your students can if you're a teacher, by simply clicking on assign. And then what you would normally do is just click on copy link and you can actually do the quiz. Now, one of the things about the quiz is just how good the quality of the quiz is. Let me show you what it looks like from the student's point of view if I log in and do this quiz. I've just logged in. Here is the quiz and I can listen and read at the same time. Green tea is a popular drink enjoyed by many people around the world. I can then scroll down and get some help with any vocabulary that I might not understand. And then underneath it, if I come down, there is a quiz. All I need to do is to write my name. So I'm going to put Russell in and then I can play the quiz. And this is actually really nicely set out. You can see, for example, I've got the text and the audio on the left hand side and the quiz on the right. So teachers could be using this, but of course you could also just log in, create an account for yourself as a student and use this for your own language learning. And uh, that's actually what I do with this technology. Let's do an example. We're gonna click on create new. And there are actually a number of really interesting features that Ed Cafe's got, but the one I want to focus on today is called Reading Activity. I want you to click here, and all you need to do is write in a topic. You can give some in additional information about the level of your students. Then you notice here that you can choose multiple languages. So I'm using this generally in Polish, but I'll do an example in English. And then what you can do here as well, and this will help the level, is specify, and it, I guess it's following the American educational system, but specify more or less a, an equivalent level at school. So for example, you know, if I put in third grade or second grade, I know that it's going to make simplify the content as well. Let me give an example, and then you'll see how quickly it generates the content. I've requested a text about the best seeds to eat for health and longevity, a simple text of around 200 words, and I want it for kind of third grade. I'm going to do it in English, and I'm going to click here, and it's going to generate that in seconds. Now, obviously, we know that sometimes you get mistakes in AI-generated content, so you definitely want to read it through and make sure you're happy with the text. It's very easy to edit. You can literally come in and just click and edit the text. It's that simple. Now, once you've edited it and you're happy with what you've generated, the next thing you want to do is click on Add Audio. 
Now when you click on Add Audio, you've got lots of different voices. That depends slightly on the language you chose. I'm going to use Stacy for this example and click here. Now it's going to generate the audio to go along with that reading text. Now this is super powerful both for teachers and students because I really like to read and listen at the same time. Just a super quick break from the video. If you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in technologies for language teachers and for language students. If you're a teacher, you might also want to join up to the newsletter. If you join up to the newsletter, there is actually a free 14 part mini course in the key technologies that we can use in teachers and learning and nearly everything I share with you is free. And if you want to take it a little bit further and actually have direct training with me, I do have a Patreon group, it's quite popular, and that way you get three additional videos every month. And of course, there's no advertisements in the videos. And more importantly, you get to meet me online once a month where we work with a technology and look how we could use it in the class with our students. Right, let's get back to the video. Now we're not finished there. Let's just quickly check that audio. of nutrition that help keep our bodies strong and healthy. Okay, so we've seen that. If we scroll down below here, we can add vocabulary and this will basically focus on difficult words and give us a kind of definition of that word. And the other thing that I love is that we can add a passage quiz. Now, I always just go for the multiple questions. You can control the number of questions you want. I'm just gonna go for five and then I'm gonna click on generate passage quiz. And it's now gonna generate a quiz. And what I like about this quiz is when the students do it and they answer the questions, it gives them an explanation. And you can see here that it's generated the explanation as well. Once you've done all that, one thing to do, obviously check through everything, but click on the save button, give it a name. So we're gonna call this seeds two. So I've already done one on seeds, but this one is a bit easier. And I'm gonna put that in my library uh, I have some folders already, so I'm going to put it in early tests and click on save. Now, this is the super interesting thing. You can obviously start to do this, but let's say you want to do the activity as if you were a student. Well, it's very easy. Just click on a sign. You can either point your telephone at the screen now and do the activity online or teachers. You can save that QR code and share it with your students. Uh, and also, of course, you can just copy the link. Now, if you copy the link, just jump over to another browser. So I'm just going to click over on another browser, open up the paste in the text of the into the browser and off we go. Here it is seeds. So you could easy share this as a teacher so that your teacher students can do this activity or simply you could do it yourself if you're a student and you want to work with tech this technology. Absolutely amazing. I really suggest that you look at Ed Cafe if you're a teacher or a student and notice also that you can use it with YouTube videos. You just put in the link to a YouTube video and it will generate content and vocabulary from that YouTube video. And you can see that on the screen now. If you want to watch the video about how I use Ed Cafe in YouTube, I'll put the link on the screen now and you can watch that. We're gonna move on now and look at a second technology that I also really like. This is great for pronunciation and, and for listening. It works in multiple languages and again, it has a really good free offer. Don't forget if the video is useful, please like it and please give me some hype points because everything helps to boost my rankings on YouTube. Let's look at Love Voice. So this is lovevoice.com. You don't even need to log in with this tool. All you need to do is come down here and paste in a text. And then what you can do is choose, obviously it can be in multiple languages, but if it's in English, for example, you can choose the accent that you wanna to listen to the text being read out. And you've got lots of accents in other languages as well. So if I just scroll down, notice that there's Spanish. And in fact, there's just hundreds and hundreds of languages. It really is that many. And thank God there's Polish because it makes it really useful for me. We'll do an example in English very quickly. And then I'm gonna show you how you could also use this tool for pronunciation as well as listening. 
I'm going to grab a piece of text from my own website. This is just basically my profile and a bit of information about me. I'm just going to copy that. This could be an, a really simple example, but it could obviously the text could come from anywhere. You can upload the text or paste it in. I'm going to paste that text in. Now, what I can do here is come down below and choose from a whole range of different accents. Now, we'll use a British accent since I'm English myself. So I'm going to choose to use, and we've got here a Sonia. And then I'm going to click on generate and it's actually going to generate the audio. Let's just wait a few seconds, verifying that it will generate the audio and fantastically really useful. You can download that audio as well. So let's just have a quick wait and so it will do that. So the audio has been generated and we can click on this button here. Russell Stannard is a multi award winning educational tech. Okay, so that works absolutely fine. Notice that you can download that audio by just clicking here and it's just an MP3 file and you'll find that in your downloads. And if you click here as well, I've got a couple of other things. You can control the playback speed as well. So great if you've got a piece of text that you want to listen and read at the same time. And of course that could come from anywhere on the internet. Now the other great thing is that we can use Love Voice for pronunciation and let me give you an example. Imagine that we wanted to perhaps practice some words, maybe individual words that we're struggling with the pronunciation of them, or for example, even sentences. We can just simply write the sentences in. You can write into this script window here and just write in some words. I'm going to write in a few words. I've put in some words here where the stress kind of jumps around. So we've got accommodation, then we've got for photography but we then got photo and then we got photographer but then we got photograph complex complexity let's see how the system deals with it and we'll choose a different language we'll go for Australian and we'll choose William okay so we're going to generate now a completely new audio file and click on this button here and again, it's going to ask me to verify, presumably, and then hopefully we'll be able to actually listen to this recording. So I'm just going to verify that it's me. And then this is only a short text. It should only take a few seconds. OK, it's ready. Let's have a quick listen. So I'm going to click on this button here. Accommodation. Photography. Photo. Photographer. Photograph. Complex. Complexity. So that is absolutely superb. It dealt with the jumping stress really, really well. Now that could be individual words, it could be phrases, it could be sentences. A great way of working with this is really to have different phrases that you want to practice and then basically to play them and repeat them. This is something that I do a lot in Polish because Polish pronunciation can be quite tricky. Okay, really hope you liked that video and if you did, please click on the like button because it really helps me. Um, another great technology that I'm making a lot of use of is TurboScribe. You can see it on the screen now. And the reason I like this technology, again, is it gives you a very good free offer and it will extract the transcript from any YouTube video and then build activities around it so you can make listening comprehension questions and vocabulary lists and collocations and gap fill activities and true or forced activities etc you can also translate the transcript very very quickly so if you want to watch that video i'll put it on the screen now and thank you very much for watching this video don't forget if you want more free videos then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com and also if you are interested there is a newsletter that you can sign up to and if you sign up to that newsletter you will get a free 14 part mini video course in using technology in language teaching that newsletter is predominantly for teachers rather than students also if you're a teacher and you want more training with me on using technologies and particularly ai technologies then join me on patreon you'll get free extra videos every month and i often cover things that i don't cover on youtube but also you'll get the chance to meet me uh, in an online training where we look at a technology in more detail and actually practice using it finally i do have a very popular course it's a course that i run in collaboration with nile it's called technologies and approaches to blended hybrid and online teaching and you can find out all about that course from my website just click on the link and it will take you to the nile website there's a video you can watch and lots of information thank you very much
I'm going to leave on the screen now some other videos that you might find useful and some great playlists that you'll also find very useful.